So this is a fun interview. You'll recall the other day, uh, Christian Walker, who is Herschel Walker's son, mm. was bemoaning the fact that at what apparently turns out to be one of the most expensive gas stations in Beverly Hills, someone told me. Uh, is he in Beverly Hills, Christian Walker? I, would, I don't know if that's I would case. guess that Herschel Walker uh, does not just reside in, in Georgia. I would guess that he has multiple places that he lives. I don't know. That's unconfirmed. But it was at a I'm, very, I it's a guess. very, very, very expensive gas station. Because in New York, we have like a, we have a big gas tax. And it's hard to find gas that's even at $4 a gallon. Uh, apparently where he was, it's, it was closer to like, f like four fifty or five. Um, and people called him out because he was driving a, a gas, uh, chugging, um, uh, Range Rover and wearing a $1,300 hoodie. And then he went on to shoot a subsequent video where he basically said, um, you know, if you don't have money, people are mad that we have money because uh, otherwise you're lazy. Remember the original video was ostensibly feeling sympathy with these lazy people who couldn't afford the gas. So it was a little bit convoluted. He sat down with Mark Lamont Hill on, uh, was it the Black News Channel, they call it, on YouTube. And uh, here's, this is what happened. When, when you made your video the other day and you said, you know, the kind of boo-hoo video and you're like, I'm sorry my parents weren't lazy and they actually got up and worked and, you know, built businesses and did things like that. Can you see how a comment like that would make a working class American feel uh, insulted that, that or, or to make a person who's struggling, someone who's working poor feel as if you're blaming their condition on their laziness and not the economic circumstances. Could you at least see that position? No, I can't see it. All the working class followers of mine loved the video because they saw that a lot of Democrats were refusing to engage with the point I was making that gas prices were high and instead <laughs> wanted to focus on my Givenchy sweater and my Range Rover. So I made a video saying, oh, am I supposed to be ashamed that my parents worked hard? That has nothing to do with working class people. Americans, whether you're poor, rich or anywhere in between can care about issues that don't directly affect them. Yes, I can afford $98 gas, but I care about my fellow working class American citizens. That's what the video was about, and it was about Democrats refusing to engage with my point and instead distracting on some of the material items that I have. That had nothing to do with the conversation. It was a funny video. It was a joke. No, again, I, I, I remember I started this conversation by saying, I'm not taking issue with your Givenchy or your Range Rover. My only point was the whole my parents worked hard. I'm telling you that many people, and maybe we live in different social media universes, which makes sense. I'm, you know, yeah. a, a very old man. Um, they, many working poor, working class people I saw were insulted by that. So I'm just saying, if, if you're trying to reach out across the aisle and not just the people who already follow you and already agree with you, it could be a very, uh, a, a very complicated thing. Um, another thing you talked about was I mean, uh, you got to hand it to um, to what's the face Christian Walker for being able. I mean, he's pretty um, he was pretty good at uh, diverting the point there. Um, the the idea that he is suggesting that his wealth is a function of his parents working hard as opposed to everyone else who doesn't have a thirteen hundred dollar hoodie or a Range Rover. Um, is indicative of what this guy's politics is and it really shows just how disingenuous he was to his fellow working class people <laughs> um should be clear he's not working class um his fellow working class people about their plight when it comes to gas uh was the the, the subtext of his um his videos were that they they deserve it because they're just lazy. I mean, he really got that smug thing down. He just grins from ear to ear and like has is just unabashed. I feel like I mean, I don't know. He's I think he's he's I mean, he's he's pretty good in that instance. I wonder what would happen if somebody really pressed him uh, on that that point. But um, 
It's going to be interesting to see how much of a liability, if he is at all, to his uh, dad running uh, down in uh, in Georgia. Also, did he poll the working class Americans on his Instagram or TikTok about yeah, their opinions on his Givenchy I'm going to guess that the ones that did have a problem with it probably have unfollowed him for a while now. <laughs> and uh, the one, yeah, like uh, most of the people aren't um, working class um, or at least uh, working poor, for instance. <laughs> Yes, please. One more clip from that interview. Givenchy. Giv I did not know how to uh, pronounce I, I that. I thought it was I Giv Givenchy, um, but, you know. You can say whatever you want about a white person and not get fired from your job. You say one comment about a black person, you're done. And do you have any examples? Again, I'm just asking. Um... There's so many, I can't even come up with one right now. <laughs> um, even on Twitter, Twitter space. There are so last... many that you can't come up with any. No, I, it's just I, like I... a log jam of examples and you just can't. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's talking to a black guy who got fired from his job. Yeah. <laughs> for talking about uh, Israel, uh, Israelis. Bye -bye. Not even when he was at, at work. Yeah. And yet... Um, somehow, somehow Christian Walker is aware that, uh, of the oppression that white people have, that if they talk about a black person, they get fired from their job. Uh, and there's so many examples of that, that he cannot remember one. Yeah. It's just a flooded his brain. I, I will say he definitely seems like a Herschel Walker son. There is a, an affliction uh, that sometimes when you have so many options, you become paralyzed. And it's, it's possible that the, he's thinking of so many instances that he's aware of, of white people being fired for talking about a black person that he cannot actually articulate. Sensory one. overload. Yep. Yep. That's possibly what it was. That's probably what it was. So we'll see. Um, but good for Mark Lamont Hill for, for engaging that guy. And that would be tough for me. That would be tough for me to have a conversation with that person. I think I would enjoy it. I, I mean, but you're, you know, you're you. I, uh, I know. I like to, I like to get, uh, I like to get, I'd like to argue. What? I think that's sort of like entitled, um, the, the Christian Walker sort of like entitled, that is the future of the Republican Party if they have one. I mean, it's, pro it's part of the future of the, the probably Democratic Party too, but like that, that is uh, an empowered group of people and I think that, like, his attitude there, like, people think it's so repugnant. I think that appeals to a lot of people. That, not only is that the future of the Republican Party, it's the past of the Republican Party. It's Ted Cruz. Yeah. It is Josh Hawley. It is, I mean, you, we can go on and on and on. I'm here talking about the working class. And incidentally, I'm also an incredibly uh, elite. I mean, the, the elite. It's, it's Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson, who never, never, never had to want for a moment in his life as an economic, from an economic perspective, who not only was, was wealthy since a fairly young age, but also um, had every elite connection and advantage uh, that uh, one could exist. And yet, somehow, was completely attuned to the way that working class people hmm. uh, felt left out by the elites, of which he continues to be one. And all of the inside dealing that, that exists in that world.